Hello and good morning and welcome to the Legend Acres training classroom located in Stewart, Tennessee. And it's a very cold day out there today. Uh, so there is still ice on the ground here um, in Stewart, Tennessee this morning. And so Bella and I are in the heated classroom. You can see her behind me. She is the cutest little thing ever. Okay. So Bella and I are going to work on a few things today. Um, so one of the things we're going to work on is loose leash walking, um, as well as uh, touch and some seeking, and um, just kind of seeing what we can get her to do today to pay attention, uh, because she's a little wound up. Um, so she's been on a walk and she's been playing in the office, and so we'll see how she does today. All right, kiddo. Are you ready? With me, Miss Bella. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. Okay, Stella. Oh, what did you find? Did you find something interesting? You want to do a seeking here? Let's find. Let's give you something to find there. Okay, so something caught her attention there, and so she decided to sniff on the ground. So we're just gonna throw some cookies down and start with a seeking exercise then, and get her to sniff around a little bit and find some cookies, and then. We can get her to then pay attention to us because she was sitting there looking at me as I was talking to you. <laughs> so she got bored waiting for me. She said, oh my goodness, lady, you just keep talking. It's so boring. All right. There we go. All right. Miss Bella, touch. Good girl. Good girl. Bella. Touch. Good job. She said, these are hard to chew. I broke them into smaller pieces for her, too. I know, they're chewy. Bella, touch. Good girl. Good girl. Well, well, hold on, I gotta break it into a little tiny piece. It wasn't ready. Here, here's your cookie. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so when I, what I, ideally I want to reward her within three to five seconds. It took me a little bit longer because I was breaking up that cookie though, so. And so I lost her attention for a little bit, which is not surprising. So she still has some more cookies over here behind me. I'm going to let her finish those up. Good job. Good find it. There's one. She missed about three cookies on the ground. Good girl. All right, Bella, touch. Good job. And so I just used the touch command to draw her into me. Okay, so right now, Bella hasn't learned the recall command or coming when called. And so touch is one of those commands um, that we use later to transition into a lot of different things. But once we introduce it in the beginning, you can use it um, to give them a target to come into you um, before we really work on the recall term itself. So Bella, touch. And so I asked her to do something, but she's very busy checking out the Halloween decorations that are sitting over here in the corner because they're waiting to go up because Christmas is coming down today. Um, and so she was busy checking that out. So she heard me, but she said, hold on, I have to sniff this. And so I, what I was doing was I was counting to 10. So I'm counting to 10 to give her time to process what I asked her to do. And... She showed up before I ever had to repeat myself. And so I left my hand there to get her to still respond to the original command that I gave. Because she didn't say, no, I'm not going to do it. She just said, oh, what's that smell? And something occupied her time before she came in. When she turned and looked at me, she saw that I had my hand out still for a touch. So she came in and did a touch, okay, which is exactly what I want her to do. So I, it's okay that she took some time to kind of explore the space because she hadn't noticed the box earlier. She kind of ran past it. It was something that was put in here this morning and it wasn't in here yesterday when she was in here. So all of a sudden she went, oh, hey, what's this? And so she got to check it out. So instead of stopping her from checking it out, I want her to check it out because now that she has sniffed that box, has she gone back over to this corner? No. She went back over there to go get a toy, is what she went for, because the toy box is over there. And so she's not even gone back to that spot. Now, had she stopped, had I stopped her from checking out the box and made her come over to me and told her to not touch the box, then she would have said, well, why? What's in the box? And she would have been more curious about the box, and I would have created a problem with the box. So instead of creating a problem with the box, I let her check out the box and she said, oh, it's just some Halloween decorations, who cares? And she left the box alone. 
and then now I'm going to be able to get her back in. Okay, Bella, touch. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good job, Bella. Bella, sit. Good girl. She said I was going to jump up and get the cookie from you. All right. Bella, sit. Good job. Right here, right here. I have the cookie. It's in my hand. Good job. Good job. Okay? And so she's pausing a little bit. Good. But I, what I'm waiting for her to do is I need her to be on her feet so I can ask her to sit. So when she default sits and puts her butt on the ground, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not what I'm asking her to do. And so what I'm waiting for is she either needs to be on her feet or I'm luring her, luring her with a cookie to get her on her feet so I can ask her to sit on command, okay? Now, again, I'm not gonna reward her for the default sit right now because I want her to learn sit on command. I want her to sit when I ask her to sit. I also like that she default sits because she's already figured out that jumping doesn't get her what she wants, sitting does. And so there's nothing wrong with that default sit. I'm just not focusing on that just default sit today. I'm working more on the sit on command. Okay, Bella, touch. Good girl, good job. Good job, good girl. Bella, sit. Good girl. Good job. Good job. Bella, sit. Good girl. Bella, sit. Good girl. Okay, so that time she thought, well, maybe I really don't have to sit. Maybe I can try a couple of little things. And she tried a couple of little things, and it didn't get her the reward. So finally, she put her butt down into a sit. Notice I didn't repeat myself, okay? I'm giving her to the count of 10 to process what I've asked her to do and give her a chance to do it, okay? Because if I was to, at that instant, say, Bella, sit, Bella, sit, Bella, sit, Bella, sit, and asked her three times, what am I always going to have to say to get her to sit? I'm gonna always have to say it three times if that's what I'm practicing. And that is not what I want to happen. I want her to be able to respond to me the first time that I ask for it. Okay, all right, I only got a couple of cookies left here, kiddo. Well, we didn't get much leash work done as we planned here. Oh uh, no, I got some cookies. So, Bella, find it. Right here, can you find it? Find it, find it, no, no, it's on the ground. There you go, good girl. Okay, now she's finding it. Grab a couple of cookies and we'll do some Wish why didn't you didn't get all your cookies that were on the floor. No, you didn't. But you're very cute sitting right here. Camera can't see you though. Alright, you ready? Alright, let's get this leash. Alright, Venti with me. Ooh, I'm gonna trip over it. Good girl, Bella with me? Good. Good. Bella with me? Good girl. Good girl. Alright, Bella with me? Good girl. Bella with me? Good girl. Okay, so what I'm getting her to do is when I am saying with me right now is just getting her to look at me to understand that every time I say with me, we're going to do a change of direction. Okay, so it is my job as the leash holder to make sure that Bella and I don't walk in any walls, okay, fall off any cliffs, wander into traffic. So if I'm looking at her, can I look to see where we're going? No. So what I'm going to do then is I need her to watch me for the change of directions so I can focus on where we're going and what we're doing, okay, as well as then get her to come with me instead of it being an argument on the leash. All right, so Miss Bella with me. Good girl. Good girl. With me. Oh, you weren't looking, were you? With me. Good girl. All right, Bella with me. Good. So now if you notice, she's watching my feet. Bella with me? Good. And she's making eye contact with me as well. Right? With me? Good girl. Good girl. And the leash has a big J in it. With me? Good. And so that's what I want. So loose leash walking is getting them to walk next to you on the loose leash, looking to you for direction, and not pulling, And which is exactly what we accomplished today. All right, here's some cookies, kiddo. There you go. All right, so I thank you for watching our video today of Bella and um, introduction to leash walking, and we worked on some touch and some sit today. 
And um, if you have any questions about our training, you can find the information on our website at www.legendacresboarding.com. And you can also find us on Facebook, www.facebook.com backslash Legend Acres. We're also on Twitter and Instagram um, at Legend Acres. And you can also call our office at 931-232-6044. And so we are finished with our group classes for the rest of 2019. But we do have some slots for some semi-private sessions um, to get that group class uh, pricing as well as private sessions over the next couple of months before we pick up our spring classes, um, our group classes in the spring of 2020. And so thank you again for watching, uh, Bella and I. Thank you, Bella. All right, and y'all have a fantastic weekend.